Hello and welcome back everyone. Robot Gaming and Shigoki here playing more Pal World. Today we're gonna go after Jillet. Uh, ice and Fire not Ice and Dragon. The ice and Dragon. Ice and Dragon, yeah. And it's basically the first open world uh boss thingy. And it's currently walking away from its usual spawn point, so I'm following it. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a three-shot bow. Do that. <laughs> Funny enough, Chillet is walking to the place where we had our second phase during the test runs. And it's turning back. It's okay, it's not hard to find. I know. I will pick up a lift monk effigy that is over here. So these lift monk effigies, those are little green uh, crystal thingies, crystal statues that look like the lift monk uh, pal. And if you collect those and offer them up at a statue of power, which looks like Anubis. Yeah. That's the pal where people claim it looks like Lucario from Pokemon. Which is no surprise because Lucario was created after the Egyptian god of Anubis, same as this pal. If you offer these uh, Lift Monk effigy up at the statue of power you can increase your uh, capturing rate which basically ever so slightly increases your chance of capturing pals yep i've been i are in, in our test world i had got mine up to like level three or four yeah Okay, the shillet is now close to its spawn area again. Do you see me on the map? Yeah. Oh, you're... Where are you? Oh, you're all the way over there. Gonna piss off some sheep first. Leveling up my stuff. That's not necessary. We are two. We got the uh, double shot bow and we got two fire pelts. So this thing is in the back easily. Yeah, but also need some of that wool. Don't want to have that first. Because when we go back, I'm going to make a bed and in a box. Okay, oh. running over. We want to catch it, right? I would prefer to catch it, yes. Are okay. you ready? Yep. Let's go. And we got it. Sweet. In case you want one for yourself, it respawns in a few minutes, and yeah. then we can we can capture it again. Let's see. Maybe it has already respawned because it moved so far from its spawn point. No, I don't see one here yet. But yeah, that's that's the first boss. Basically, it's an easy one. You said you wanted to uh, farm wool. Yep. 
Well then... Let's stay in the area and farm a little bit of wool. Need to capture a couple more of these things too. Right, you mean to get the quest uh, out of our windows? Yep. It's annoying that you can't uh, actually disable these tutorial things. Agreed. But hey, that's probably an option for after early access has ended. Hopefully. Maybe. So if you go over this bridge... That's the old base, the old second one, I know. Yeah. Uh, I would like to show this off. Because over here is a spot where there is a lot of uh, ore. Ooh, ooh, I want the bird. Yours. Oh. And with that amount of ore, it's basically easy. Uh, so get your production of things that require ore and ingots running. And yes, it's it's actually just called ore. Not metal, not iron, just ore. There you go. Yeah, there we go. I got the bird. The bird's mine. Yay! Yeah, I uh, learned the egg incubator. So Sweet. if we're back at the base, yeah, we're back I've at the base, we can gather a few oh. eggs already. Yeah. I've actually been marking them on the map. Hmm. I'm not doing that because I know many oh. of these locations uh, by memory now. Yeah, I don't. Uh, Chillet has not respawned yet. I don't know what the respawn rate of these mini bosses is, by the way. That's fine, me neither. Oh, but there are a few lamp bolts, and since we need to capture five of those, I will do that now. Or I will at least be attempting. To do that. Hello Lambo, you're level four. What's with this one? Level four. I need two more to complete that stupid quest. But a level 1 lamp ball will just... Yeah. Let's say collapse to the ground the moment I hit it. Yeah. Reality is it will just... <laughs> it will just die. I'm climbing around here, finding lift monk effigies, finding eggs. And this is really one of those games that makes exploring not only easy, but uh, fun as well. Did you already uh set up an egg incubator yet or no? No, I haven't returned to base. Okay. I'm still in the area in case that Gillette uh, respawns, so we can take it on a second time. I guess I want one too.
I mean, I got one, you want one, so it's only fair. Yep. Or do you wish to hope that it may hatch from the ice egg that it, it, I it have? Won't, it, it won't be the boss quality, which is what I want. I know. I'll put the dream eater oh. back. So yeah, pelts actually come in uh, in multiple different qualities. There's the default quality, which is a normal sized pal. Then there is a so-called lucky pal that's equivalent to a shiny. Yeah. In Pokemon, they don't have a different color. They're just bigger, and they have guaranteed good uh, stats. Or rather, guaranteed high-ranking good stats. Yep. And then... There are technically... World bosses and... Those? Can be a different caliber again. Ah, uh, Shillet has not respawned. Yeah. Uh, apparently alphas respawn in one hour real time. I just googled it because... Yeah. Fair enough. No use wasting our time here looking for it if it doesn't respawn. Okay, let's see. Metal Axe, Metal Pickaxe, and while I'm at it... High quality workbench. I'm going to return to our base. Wait, Nightwing's saddle, where is it? Ah, okay, it's level 15, if I'm not mistaken. Because I want to be able to use that flyer as soon as possible. Also, I need to capture two more sheep. Yeah, I need one more now. harness that I made. I thought I made it. Sorry.
Okay, let's put down the materials that I brought home with me. I think we need a third chest. Because we have way too many crafting materials. Yeah, probably. Yeah, well, the more we get, the more we expand. Okay. Do I have the daydreams necklace yet? No. Making one of those two. Why do I not have a shield yet? That is weird. I was wondering why I'm taking so much damage. I don't have a shield. Well, that will do it. Come on, man. Chikina's mistakes. Oopsie. Tee hee. And my girlfriend who was watching me said I should never do that again. I'm not an anime girl. <laughs> it is not cute unless she does it, she says. <laughs> well, we got the comedic bit uh, done with that. Oh, come on, finish my daydream necklace, please. Now, Ooh. start working on the Malpaca saddle. This one's mine, you hear? Okay. Wanna put down more chests? Yeah. Uh, I'll put down the incubator next to the Pell station here. Oh. Like always, basically. But first... Later, you're really in the way. Time to incubate. What do we have here? I have two eggs with me right now.
Why are these pelts inside the house? Get out! Shoo! Shoo! Have you decided where oh, to set up? Oh, it's because that, that, that chest is the closest one, so they keep trying to put stuff in it. Ah. Uh. That's why. I'll solve that. Yeah, uh, also, more chest, please. Yeah. Until we can make the bigger chest, we really need to uh, get this going that way. Out of wood. Okay. Uh, this way is actually where I want to go. No. Yes. Go, my malpaka! I found a tombat, if you're still interested. Yeah. Tombat! Can you come over here? Oh, working on it. Holy crap, you're far. And I don't have a mount yet. Oh, I see it. I'm on my way. Also, I didn't modify the night time for this one. Yeah, but... Uh... Leave as is, because some pelts can only be captured in the night. Uh, that's why I, I didn't know that before, and that's why I changed it, because they don't like nighttime. But, now that I know that, I left it alone. So okay, I... I'm leaving you to that. FG. I want to have that. Okay, the water is not deep enough, so I can climb. Early. Ooh, he's a workaholic too. Nice. Well, I caught him. There's one more over here, if you're interested. Yeah, I don't think I got the, the stuff I need for it. What, the bolts? Yeah. I only got two. But I got one of them. So bad you're not coming prepared. Well, I had enough to get to that one. Ooh, a rush bore. I want a rush bore. This one's level four. And it died immediately. Okay. I have a rush bore. Good thing it were two of them. <laughs> A spark it. Hey, wait for me. Don't run. Don't run. Caught it. I 
now that my egg is done, and I'm uh, close to the next teleporter, so give me a second here. Oh, good. Just need to turn around and go into the right direction, actually. Because I was trying to get to the village over here. Ah. Huh? Um. Oh. For a moment I was like, why does this village look different? Found a dungeon! Large water type egg. Ooh. You want to uh, incubate one of your eggs now or have you put down a second incubator? Uh, I don't have the resources for that. I'm going to do it in just a moment. <laughs> And my common egg is a Gale Claw. I'm happy. Um, 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 um. Yeah, let's put down my frozen egg. And about a second incubator. Yeah, right. We like the pallium fragments. I still need to capture uh, two more of the lamb bolts. So I'm trying to do that. Time to upgrade the base again. There we go. Yeah, makes sense that you do that because you're the one recording. Yeah. Woo. Hello, Lamball. I have a bat. Does that make me Batman? Wow. <sighs> okay, now we've got this. One more lamp ball, and I got it. One thing that is actually kind of not so much uh, one of my favorite parts is that the amount of bases you can have as a clan, or rather guild, is the same as you can have as a single player. So if you form a guild, you're limited to three bases as a guild. On the other hand, the pals that everyone captures 
are separated in the um, separated in the hell station. So yeah, there doesn't seem to be much um, but incentive to be in a group. Okay. I mean, yeah. I think I'm gonna call it here for this one. This was Rover Gaming and Shigoki playing more Pal World. Uh, we're just kind of chilling, having fun. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you all for the next one. Later.